What's happening everyone? Welcome to another tutorial from InFictionOnline.com oh, Don't forget on our site and click on this tutorial request link here on the left side That'll bring you to this window here you Fill out this form You can send a request on any software title Or any type of tutorial computer related That you're interested in And we help you as best as we can Alright If you're on YouTube you can check out our channel youtube.com slash and fix it online don't forget to leave comments rate the video and subscribe to our channel that's what keeps us going that's what keeps us strong All right so without further ado let's get into this current tutorial how to video now in this tutorial we're going to show you how to change your battery on the iPod mini now I usually just deal with computer items but uh I've been receiving a few requests on changing batteries for iPods and other electronics. So I figure I'll give it a shot. I actually picked up this replacement kit from eBay for about seven or eight dollars. Not bad at all, especially for the price. You can also check out iPodBattery.com. They right now they probably have replacement kits for about sixteen dollars and they claim to have 20 hours of battery use. I don't know what the difference is, but for this tutorial, okay. So, without further ado, let's get it started. This iPod here, the mini, actually has a kit clip on it, so you can slide the clip off. It's a clip, we'll put that to the side. Place this here, and we open up our replacement kit with the tools. Like I said, I got this kit from eBay. You can also go to iPodBattery.com. All right, so we're gonna open this up. The kit basically just comes with the place this here. A Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Mini version of course and the battery. Okay. First thing you want to do is get your flathead screwdriver. And you want to open up the top of the iPod, this white case in here. Now you're bound to scratch the plastic a little bit the white plastic or maybe even the casing so you want to be as careful as possible I'm gonna get under there once you lift up one side you want to lift up kind of both sides and you take this off it's the top part there we we'll put that on the side but we definitely gonna need that then you have two screws on the top one in each corner the right left side or left right side depending on the way you're looking and this is where you want to use your Phillips screwdriver just like that one dropped inside there go the second screw okay put the Phillips back and then you want to open up the casing on the bottom that's the bottom there so you get your flathead screwdriver again your bottom case in there and like I said you might do a little bit of damage to the casing then you have this let the camera see you have this spring case in here inside the silver compartment you just want to pry that up off. a little sticky tape on there makes it hold down better okay so we'll put that next to the bottom okay so once you took your top plastic piece off two Phillips screws then your bottom plastic piece off in the silver casing what you have to do is disconnect this strip here it's here I don't know how clearly it shows it. You see it's disconnected now. And you see the white internal pieces. Okay, I also notice. Okay, I also notice that this once you disconnect that is probably taped a little bit. Once you disconnect this a little, it's probably just glued a little around the top. It's a plastic compartment here. But once you separate that from the external casing, you can just slide the whole inner workings out from the top 
the iPod. Okay, and we'll give a little overview. Here's your iPod screen. This is your iPod screen here. See where it connects to. Replace the screen. That'll be another tutorial. Then when you turn it around the back, you have the iPod battery, which is here in blue. And then you have the hard drive at the bottom. It's the iPod. That's a four gigabyte. So now once you're in the back, see the iPod there, the battery. You should disconnect the little plastic. You have this connector here, the three prong connector. Bring it a little closer to the camera. You see that there. Once you disconnect the three prong connector, and be careful, you don't want to disrupt the casing or the motherboard. And this is your old iPod battery. Here, yeah, battery pack is blue. Okay, so then we go get our new one, which is here the one I got from eBay, the black one. Put the blue one over there. So you connect it this way, you put the words toward the board, lay it in a rectangular motion, just like it was. You connect your prong, that's connected, it should look like this. Okay, so now once your battery is connected, you basically just put it back in the casing. Okay, make sure your top casing is fitting flush. Okay, so you kind of want to, from here, work backwards. So the first thing you want to do is reconnect this prong here at the bottom. Okay, so once that's connected, I'm gonna come back here and put this spring piece back on. And once you line it up, make sure the sticky side is on the outside facing you, and you get the four lines in the groove. Then you put your bottom back on, connect that. That should also snap into place. Okay, you flip your iPod back over, and this is the top. You wanna put your two screws back in. Put the top piece back on, snap it into place. Okay, so once you installed your battery, hooked up all the pieces back together, you start it up. And there you go. There's life in the iPod that didn't have any life whatsoever. Okay, so the instructions recommend that you charge your battery for three hours, so I would recommend that also. Turn it off, charge it for three hours, and start fresh. But there's your tutorial on installing a new battery on the iPod Mini. I hope this tutorial was informative to you. See you on the next one. Don't forget to visit infixitonline.com for more great tutorials. Peace.